welcome to day three of Helium 10's new content series, predictions, plans, and preparations for sellers in 2021. I'm Karen Thomas, and thank you for joining us for Helium 10's short content series to wrap up 2020 and get you on track for even greater success in 2021. And I don't know about you, but this year was a long one. So as we relax a bit and plan for 2021, I'm going to take today's session in from where I'd really like to go during the holidays. Ah, oh, if only. But I'm ready to hear from our premier speaker today. I am so happy to introduce George Bryant. George is going to share his thoughts about brands of the future. And he knows a thing or two about that. Not only has George helped hundreds of the largest companies in the world and thousands of entrepreneurs grow their relationships with their customers, but George also is a New York Times best-selling author and one of the most highly sought after digital marketing consultants in the world. George, it is so great to have you here and I am all ears. Let's hear about the brands of the future. What's my prediction for 2021? Well, you won't have a business in 2021 unless you listen to this. Now, Helium 10 reached out and asked me what my prediction for 2021 is, and I'm pretty proud of this response that I wrote, but it's really important for you to unpack. I'm going to read this to you, and then we're going to get into solving it for you and your business so you can navigate 21, thrive through 21, and basically guarantee the success of your business through 2021. So here's my prediction. 2021 is going to continue to see an increased demand for brand depth in relationships with customers and potential customers, an increased time frame in all decisions around subscribing and purchasing, and require consistent and congruent touch points across all channels to solve these needs while benefiting from an increased lifetime value. What a word full, so much to write down. Before I unpack it, let me introduce myself. My name is George Bryant. I say I empower companies and entrepreneurs to ethically scale. This is not about me. This is about you. I've worked with plenty of companies from Adidas to NBA sport teams to Titleist to TaylorMade to Onnit to Vital Proteins. And now let's get into the meat. So what do I mean when I say we're going to see an increased demand for brand depth and relationships with customers and potential customers? Well, it starts by understanding that marketing is a two-way relationship. Marketing is a two-way value-based long-term relationship. And the biggest path to success when it comes to business or when it comes to marketing is actually being in a relationship with the people who take out their credit card and make the purchasing decisions. And so the days of posting and not responding are gone. The days of people responding to emails and not writing back are gone. The days of not having to do proactive outreach to go find your customers and nurture them where they are to bring them into your world are gone. One of the things that I want you to remember taking your business into the next year, whether you're an Amazon only business on Amazon and off is that that's not the only place that your customers hang out. And we need to go be in a relationship with our customers where they hang out. If you're on Instagram, and they're on Instagram, be in a relationship with them. And I'm going to give you an actionable tactic right now. Let's say you're on Instagram, you post on Instagram, you're going to have people that respond to your comments or respond to your posts. You're gonna dive in and then respond to their comments. Then you have a whole group of people that liked your post that didn't respond, didn't comment. So then click on all the people who liked it and go leave a comment on their content, on their last post to initiate the relationship, to get them to come in, to get their attention and let you know that you, let them know that you're paying attention to them. And then when you're done there, then you can go engage on other people's content. You can shine the light of your business and brand up by serving and adding value and letting them know that you exist and that you're paying attention to them. You have to earn customers' attention. You have to earn customer relationships. And with all the increased demand and attention and competition for that attention, the one who goes deeper always wins. So no matter where you play in your marketing, whether you're doing it internally with your email, whether you're doing externally on Facebook or in ads or on podcasts, find every opportunity that you can to go engage deeply with those customers, ask them questions, build relationships, and stop trying to close in one touch point. Understand that it's a journey and it takes time. Okay, so when I say it's going to have an increased demand for brand depth and relationships and customers and potential customers, that's what I mean. 
when I talk about how it's going to require an increased time frame in all decisions around subscribing and purchasing, what that means is that every single time somebody comes into contact with your brand, it is either moving them one step closer to you or one step further away from you. And you want to ensure that they're always moving one step closer to you. The average consumer, when they make a decision to buy a product, not your product, but let's say they want to buy a whey protein. When they make that decision, like I need a whey protein, it takes on average anywhere from 26 to 100 touch points for them to collect before they make a purchasing decision of $60, which means nothing is happening in one touch point. That response on Instagram, that's one. Them watching your video, that's three. Them engaging with your ad, that's two. Them reading that email is three. Them hearing you on a podcast is one. And they collect these things across the board, which are only effective when you're consistent and congruent, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And so when you understand that the customer journey is not linear and it's not short, you need to make sure that you as a brand have created a world, I call it the Truman Show, where you have this world and no matter where they are in the world, they know they're in your world and that everything that they're doing is moving them one step closer. And so there are only four types of customer journeys that you have to solve for. Number one is people that see your content and leave. That's okay. They saw it. They left. It's not a no forever. It's just a no right now. Show up consistently and congruently and they'll be back. The next is people are going to come into your world, see your content, see your ads, see your product and want to learn more. They're going to read about pages. They're going to look at your other content. They're going to click through to your Instagram profile. So consistency is the key and making sure that no matter where you are as a business, they are always talking about the same things across all all channels. So every time they see you and engage and they want to learn more, it moves them one step closer to you. The third type of customer journeys is what I call opt-in, right? I use nautical language, but I'll keep it simple. Opt-in. These are people that come into your world and they're like, wow, I love this. I love this brand. I love the messaging. I love the audience. I want to automate this relationship. I want to opt in. I want to follow them on Instagram. That automates a relationship. I want to join their Facebook group. That automates a relationship. I want to get on their email list. That automates a relationship. They're not ready to buy yet, but they're ready to engage in that relationship to see if they're willing to take it deeper. And then the fourth type of journey is people that buy. And we know what that one means. And so when you're looking at your business through 2021 and through the lens of the future, you need to make sure that you're always taking into account that every person who comes in contact with you is only moving towards or doing one of those four things. And so eventually you must solve for them all to make sure that you've built that whole Truman Show and there's no leaks in the bucket. Which now brings me to the third thing and the final thing where I say require consistent and congruent touch points across all channels to solve their problems or solve their needs while benefiting from an increased lifetime value. Nobody continues to buy products from a company that they don't like or from a company who doesn't help them achieve the goal that the product offered. And so for you as a company to exist congruently and consistency across the entire interwebs and even into the real world, maybe with billboards or podcast advertisements or direct mailers, is you're going to require consistency and congruency. And so you want to make sure that you, your team, your influencers, everybody who represents your brand and product, including your ads and everything out there, comes from the same place. You have to have a shared vision as a company. You have to have your why, why your company exists. You then have to have your what. What is it that you do agnostic of purchase? That means you might sell a supplement, but you don't go around telling people, I sell whey protein. You say, I help people get stronger. I help people recover faster. And you and everybody in the company needs to know what that what is because that informs your marketing, which is the how. And the how, your product is one of the hows. You might sell a supplement, but your supplement's not effective if they're eating McDonald's and not working out. So you also educate them. You talk about fitness and movement and all these other modalities. And so you as a brand and a business, whether you're a solopreneur, whether you have a big team, whether you're on Amazon, on Amazon and off, you're doing your marketing outside of where you just are and even in your listing. And so you're required to know these things so you can speak to everybody and make sure that you're consistent in every touch point. So know your why. Why does your company exist outside of collecting a credit card? Know what it is that you do. I'll give you an example. I have a diaper bag company. I'm not going to say the name to self-promote, but we could say we sell diaper bags, but we don't. We help men provide, protect, and connect. And so yes, 
Are diaper bags one way to do that? Yes, but also parenting and self-care and nutrition and discipline and all these things are what inform our content and our ads and our marketing across the board that tie together. And so the how is through that content, through those modalities, through events, through advertisements, through influencers, through programs, through recipes, and through all those things. And so you have to identify all of the ways in which you as a company help your customers achieve the what with the how without the credit card. And that ensures that no matter where they see you or when they see you, that they're always moving one step closer into your brand and into your business. And consistency is the key. Showing up daily over and over and over again with the same message and the same promised destination allows them to collect all of those touch points that are required for a customer to take a journey and then trust you enough to give you their credit card and increase their lifetime value because you're earning their business for life by helping them accomplish the goal that you promised to help them with and then they can bring their friends support you with your ads, buy more products, do your advertisements, give you user-generated content, and help you expand the reach of your brand into other areas that they are proud to help you get to. And so when I look at any company, any business leading into the future, and especially leading into 2021, we have this increased demand for connection. Relationships will always beat algorithms. And so if you can remember that marketing and business is always a two-way relationship and your best insights and your best connections and your best information will come from being in a relationship with your customers, you've nailed point one. If you can always remember that everything that you're doing is only helping those people do one of those four things, either see you and leave, see you and learn more, see you and opt in and see you and buy, and you design your world that it always helps them get to one of those areas, then those buckets or the holes in those buckets are plugged, which then allows you to know your why as a company to have a shared vision, for everybody to understand what it is that you do and how you do it, and then to consistently share that message into the world, leading those people into one of those journeys while asking them questions and engaging with them to feel safe to become your customer for life. And so I'm going to sum it up because I think this is a beautiful statement of what I think is going to happen and what I think is required in 2021 for a business to succeed and thrive for the long term to build a legacy, have an impact and generate a massive, massive difference potentially with revenue. 2021 is going to forever see an increased demand for brand depth in relationships with customers and potential customers, an increased time frame in all decisions around subscribing and purchasing, and require consistent and congruent touch points across all channels to solve these needs while benefiting from an increased lifetime value. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. My name is George Bryant, and I cannot wait to see you thriving through 2021. Have a beautiful day, have a beautiful new year, and have a beautiful business. And remember, relationships will always beat algorithms. Wow, that was so informative, George. I love what you shared about marketing being a two-way relationship between a brand and a customer, and the importance of recognizing the lifetime value of a potential customer. I think a lot of small business owners often overlook how important repeat business is and referrals are for long-term success of their business. I also loved what you shared about making sure that you have congruent messaging and branding across all of your marketing and sales channels. It makes sense when you're such a highly sought after marketing consultant. Thank you so much for providing so much value to our audience, George. And thank you to our amazing Helium 10 family and our audience watching at home. We are so grateful to you. Please check out our promo code in the comments below. We'd like to give you 50% off your first month of your Helium 10 Platinum or Diamond Plan subscription. Well, that's it for day three of predictions, plans, and preparations for sellers in 2021. Now make sure to tune in tomorrow at the same time I will be joined by the legendary Tim Jordan, and he's gonna talk about scaling your business and taking it to the next level for next year. I can't wait to see you there.